The Earth system is composed of the core, mantle, and the crust. Uh, heat rising from the core creates creeping in the solid mantle, making it behave like paste. It moves upward. It can have convection, as you can see here. And the convection, when it reaches the hard and colder uh, crust of the Earth, it cracks it and creates motion in those cracked pieces. We call it continental drift. This is plate tectonics practically and creates earthquakes around the boundaries of the plates where the uplift of the material creates new oceanic crust and when it is on the land creates new land. And the eruption happens like that when the magma rises to the surface through the rocks gradually through the earthquakes creates its pathway. When the entry of the material is more than the exit, what happens is that the land starts to swell up. And we measure these things by the GPS data. The moment that the entry of the magma to the reservoir equals the exit of the material, the land uplift or rising stops. We can measure it. Our GPS data measure the distance between these stations and the satellites in the orbit. And when we plot them on a diagram, we can see the amount of the land uplift or land rise. At the moment, we see that the land rise has stopped. Like what happened in November 2024, just before the eruption, land rise stopped. The entry and exit of the magma to the reservoir was equal. So practically, land stopped to rise. It was staying stationary at the level that it was. We are seeing in almost all the stations in that area of the sourcing volcanic system, this in Elfdorf, Eskipatsky, uh, Heron, and uh, uh, stations around it like Thorbjorn, we see this pattern repeating. The entry of the magma and exit it from the reservoir or equal. Whether this magma is going to erupt or just moving horizontally, forming a lacolite and lopolite is not clear. If it rises to the surface and create a crack and find a pathway, it may erupt, like what happened in the past. But at the moment, it's very complex. We don't know what is going to happen next. But if it's going to happen and if it is going to erupt, these are the things that we expect to happen. This is the pattern. I have a video. Watch that. How we know the eruption has started? This is the Reckoness Peninsula and this is the Swartzengi volcanic system that we are talking about. You see a cluster of the earthquakes appearing concentrated in a certain area, in this case near the Swartzengi uh, volcanic system. Before that, you see just waves of the earthquakes appearing on the chart, then a huge cluster, and they're intense, very close, up to magnitude uh, 3 in the Richter scale. You see the wave coming, the tremors, and uh, on the chart you see them sudden rise in the tremors. That was uh, December 23, this is the January, and this is the February eruption, as you can see. We have a high rise, sudden rise in the tremors, which shows the eruption of a started. This is the moment that the earthquake suddenly increase. This is breaking through the surface, cracking the rocks, pulverizing them, making way for the magma to erupt. And the moment that it happens, the pressure is relieved. You will see the gases volatilized inside the magma actually coming to the surface, pushing the magma upward creating lava. You see at the depth, bubbles rising. This is the crushing moment that happens. Then what happens is that the uh, magma reaches the surface area with the lowest pressure and a bang. monitor the situation by looking at the MBL Iceland and the RUV Iceland uh, live on the camera 
and just see how it happens in real time. I recommend that you, you do that. Of course, you could say that you don't need any of these geophysics. You can just look at the cameras and you will see it.